Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a video in my declutter series. I have filmed this in 2017 so I know it's not going up before 2018 but this is the intro for every video so if you have seen before that's why I have used the same intro for every video. And a main thing in this declutter series is that I'm not getting rid of a lot but I have accumulated a big bag that I have now given to friends and family and my three cousins really really loved it and my mom and my aunt actually got some too. So I have a bit left and that is the items that is that are too dark for my friends and family. So I just need to find the right person and give it to her but they will not be counted in my makeup inventory that I am going to do after the series. Um, and if you want a makeup collection tour or setup or something, please let me know down below. So yeah, this is my declutter series. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the videos I have planned out. And yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye guys. And this is not even lipstick. Oh, goodness. So for this video, I'm going through my lip liners. There are some lip glosses and lip balms. And I'm going to do this in one video because my lipstick collection is exploded over the f last few months. So it's going to be massive. So this is my other lip products. This is all my lip balms and I'm not going to get rid of any. These are the two I'm working on very well right now and this is one as well. These are not opened at all, not used. This is only swatched. So this is the Nuori Lip Treat. This is lovely. And it's Rosé, Raspberry, Frambose. I'm not sure. It's a lip balm. Forever Aloe Lips with Jojoba Oil. The Birds Bees Tinted Lip Balm thingy. This smells so good and it seems really really nice. I just got this in an advent calendar. My Benefit Posey Balm I'm panning. My Lux Lip Balm I love. So not getting rid of any. Lip Liners. I have an awful amount of lip liners. Um, and I only like my W7 ones, which are these ones I'm picking up now, which is most of them actually, but I can go through these in like two months, um, like one per two months. So I'm not worried at all. I will never ever have other lip liners than these when I have used these up. I will keep these. For oh, sure, not even a dump. I'm going to keep this one. This is my most natural one, natural looking, natural color. Um, this is one of my only purple ones. And this one is my dark purple one. I really love those. This is pretty awesome. This is a dark, dark burgundy color, which is amazing. Um, a dark brown. No idea where, how I should use this. Um, and then a berry red one. And then this one is a pinky mauve nude color. So I love them all, so I don't know if I can go through them. In the spring I did go through these lip liners and I haven't bought any since. I have only gotten some W7 ones um, since then. So I have not bought any. These are staying. These are lip liners I'm going through very slowly because they are so much drier than the W7 ones. But I really love the colors. This is a brown category. I know. I'm sorry. But I just can't. Okay? I just can't. So these are all my lip glosses and um, I have uh, so many lip glosses that I really don't know what to do with them. 
So I'm going to take those out that I'm for sure keeping. I'm keeping these. Hi, Sky, they're filming me. Hello, Anita. So I'm going to keep these W7 Metal Pout lip glosses because they are beautiful. These are the matte version to these W7 Metal Kiss lip glosses. These are more pigmented, so I really, really like these. Um, because they're not sticky on the lips or anything, I really love these. I only have three pouts and four um, kisses, but um, that's only because I didn't grab the last pout when I had the chance. I love my NYX butter glosses. These are the only more sheer lip glosses that I really like the formula of. I'm going to keep these and these are the only lip glosses I want in my collection in the future. I just needed to comment on that. Sorry I'm interrupting, but the W7 Powder and Kisses is the only pigmented lip glosses that I really really like and the next one that I have here as well that I'm talking about in a minute. The NYX Butter Glosses is the only lip gloss form that is the most sheer ones that is more sticky and not really at the same time. They are the only lip glosses I wanted. I want in my collection in the future because it's the only lip gloss lip gloss I like so I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I like my holographic iridescent lip glosses that I have here as well. But I just wanted to comment on it so you're not getting confused anything. Because I'm not a lip gloss person, I'm more of a liquid lipstick and lipstick person. So, yeah. Bye guys! So, this NYX Cosmic Metal lip cream is something I'm going to keep as well. It is so stunning and it's not sticky. It is pigmented gloss. So, this is one I'm going to keep. This is the Gosh Intense lip color that I have tried to pan this year, as you can see. This is pigmented lip gloss as well. So I really, really like that one. Um, it just take a while for me to go through them. I'm keeping this Maybelline lip gloss as well. This is more uh, of an orange coal uh, color. This is the color elixir something. Um, it's called 400 Alone Coal. This is not that sticky, it is a bit sticky, but sure, but it is a lip gloss, you know. But I'm going to keep this one just because it's very, very pretty, and I think I can go through it pretty fast if I just commit to it. I'm going to keep these two as well. This is the W7 Lip Tripper and the W7 Iridescent Lip Lip Cover. <laughs> Iridescent Lip Cover. And these are beautiful, they are a bit sticky, but they are photographic iridescent so <laughs> I'm going to keep, to keep these as you can see in the light they are just beautiful now for the hard part these W7 lip glosses uh, lip, they are called the thriller I think they are not they are these kind of colors in the tube this is like a weird purple but I think I have some one in mind that would like the purple one and then I have some for, then I have some for the pink so I'm going to get rid of these the first ones in this entire video I have not tried these on these are some lip gloss samples I have gotten in my W7 advent calendar um, so this is pretty this is so pretty I have not swatched it oh my god this is pretty and sticky because it's that pigmented it would be a good one but it seems very sticky um, so I'm not going to keep these I think I think I'm going to let them go this one is one I'm going to keep this is my only lip gloss that is um, kind of like this one kind of clear but I this leaves a pretty shine it is the gosh volume lip shine um, in this pinky color, but it's more like this when it comes on my lips because I have very pigmented lips So it gets kind of sheer Pretty pink color. I'm going to keep this and then get rid of these eight lip glosses and I'm really excited about that so um, I'm only going to go through like these two next year, which is very exciting um, for the ones I'm I really don't like. It's not much, but it is what I can do 
uh, for all the products I do like.